Hey besties, welcome back to Turning Tides Tarot. My name is Alicia. Thank you all so very much for being here with me. Seriously, y'all are the best. I hope you all are having an amazing day, had an amazing weekend, whenever, weekday, whenever it is that you tune into this message. It is timeless. Um, we're just going to bring the bowl, cleanse the energy here, give you a bit of a sound bath. We're going to call in spirit and then we're going to get into a uh, twin flame update. For those of you who are interested, it has been a little bit of a request lately that we do a check in on Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine Energies. Um, if you resonate, if you're on a Twin Flame journey, hopefully there are messages here for you. Um, we'll look into Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine here in this reading. Okay, so let's just get started. Here we go. Watch your ears. Okay, I'm calling on spirit with so much love and so much gratitude. I ask for divine guidance as I interpret these messages. May they help us all on our journey towards our highest and greatest good. I'm asking for love, joy, peace, abundance, and protection for myself, for you, and for all beings on the planet at this time. Thank you so much, spirit. Okay, um, I'm going to get an energy, an overall energy for both. Uh, we'll start with divine feminine and one for divine masculine. Here's divine feminine energy. Okay, we have walking away. All right, walking away energy. Stay tuned. Stay with me. We'll, uh, we'll have to see what is really going on here. But we have this person, well, it's a feminine energy, of course, um, leaving a situation, leaving the scene, but also looking back to see if anybody is following her or following them. Um, this isn't gender specific. I'm just going off the uh, person on the card here, okay? Um, <laughs> you could be a mass, you could be a man in, the, in a feminine energy. It doesn't really matter. It's all about the vibe, right? Um, but anyways, we have somebody walking away, the divine feminine walking away but also kind of looking back to see what's going on. Is anyone following me? Let's see. What's going on? What's the overall energy for the Divine Masculine here? We're going to clarify with Tarot. We're going to let the story unfold. Okay, we're going to go a little bit back and forth. We have the Angel of Love. The Angel of Love, okay? Actually, let's get something for the energy between the two of you at the, same, at the moment. The combined shared energy as well. Uh, of the connection. Okay. And then we have woman holding a coin. All right. At the bottom of the deck here, we have indecision, indecision. I feel like, um, yeah, here's the thing. This is a very interesting opening to this reading. I feel like divine feminine, um, you are in the process of exiting stage left in a sense where you are no longer putting all your time, energy, focus, attention onto this, this journey, onto the masculine energy. I feel like um, right now the masculine is in their heart space. And I can see that huge with the angel of love here. Uh, they are focusing on themselves. Maybe it's self-love, the love that they have for you. We're going to explore this further, just staying in there with me. And then the shared energy between the two of you is indecision. And... Um, weird um is this still recording i am literally getting a phone call from my twin currently i shit you not i'm like a deer in headlights i'm not gonna stop to answer it that's so funny i'm not gonna stop the reading to answer this okay um it is still recording <laughs> Whoa, that's crazy. Anyways, uh, we do have Divine Feminine Energy, again, focusing on perhaps their career, uh, focusing on what it is that they do for a living, focusing on practical matters, focusing on something tangible, okay? Um, we also have, this is shared energy between the two of you, okay? So the masculine could also be in their energy of love and focusing on the love that they have. Um, for the feminine, for themselves, and then also focusing 
on their career as well or their money or something here with this woman holding a coin um or they are seeing you perhaps uh divine feminine on your glow up sorry I, that was really distracting for me folks i'm going to continue on with the reading because it's funny i resonate with that energy with being the divine feminine being like i am focused on what it is that i do and i'm right here right now with y'all okay so we will see what's going on here but i do feel like you know you're on the rise you're on a glow up and things are going well for you now we have indecision here at the bottom of the deck interesting envy and then caring connection also here okay so we have um indecision could be anything we're going to explore this but it could be uh divine feminine could be divine masculine could be both of you not really sure what you're going to do with this connection not really sure where things are going to go but interestingly enough we also have envy so i don't know what's going on um with these energies just yet we will do some exploring oh my goodness that kind of shook me a little bit not gonna lie Real time, folks. <laughs> the reading's not live, but it is real time, okay? As the fact that that just happened is so crazy. All right. So, Divine Feminine, let's start with your energy. Let's start with your energy. Okay, um, Divine Feminine. Okay. We have you in the vibe of walking away, okay? But also looking back. Let's be real. Let's be honest. Walking away. What do we have here? Please show me, Spirit, Divine Feminine energy. Please show me Divine Feminine energy, please. Please show me what's going on with the Divine Feminine in this particular collective, okay? We have strength. <laughs> there you are, holding back Divine Feminine. You are literally trying to do the things that are best for you. Trying to remove yourself from situations, people, places, things that you know aren't good for you. You're overcoming patterns in your life, patterns um, of behavior, patterns of thinking, you know, anything, um, maybe even trying to hold your back, yourself back from your masculine. Okay. Not really indulge. I feel like you're trying to get over something. You're tapping into your strength, tapping into your courage here. Yeah. You know why is we have the five of wands here because I feel like peace is very important to you in your world. I feel like you've been at odds within the self for way too long. This indecision energy is a shared energy as well. Not really sure what you're going to do about a situation. Not really sure what you can do. Really wanting some change here, but not really sure how you can... You know you can't change someone else, right? You know you can't change someone else, Divine Feminine. So I feel like you've put the focus onto yourself, your goals, your projects, your the things you do have control over, which is your own life, your own vibe. And I feel like you're really trying to go through um, some positive change in your world, okay? So good energy. What else is here for the Divine Feminine? Holding it up, being in your strength. Um, interesting, we have the Four of Cups. Now, the Four of Cups in this particular deck, I, I do get the missed opportunity or I do get um, sometimes very much boredom with this vibe. Um, I feel like you've been bored with what has been going on within this connection. Um, I feel like you have been... I just get this feeling of like things being on repeat here. I feel like it played out a little bit bored of, you know... Uh, of the missed opportunity, you know, of the missed opportunity. I feel like you look at this connection, you look at the divine masculine. It's not that you don't have love for your masculine. It's, it's, you know, it's been, it's a little old. It's a little tired for you because it's just gone on for too long and really nothing has changed. And, you know, I mean, like, I feel like the focus has, has been turned within onto the self here. Okay. Um, you're just over kind of like, you're not waiting around. <laughs> you're not waiting around. Okay. I feel like you've been really detaching um, and really tapping into your own spirituality and really just trying to grow, um, to evolve. Okay. I do love this like stairway to heaven energy here. You are tapped in, turned on. You're getting your power from the source here. I feel like you're taking your life very seriously. We are in Taurus energy right now. So the Hierophant does represent Taurus. Um, and so I'm not surprised if we see the Hierophant come out a lot in the next, you know, couple weeks here. Happy birthday, Taurus. P.S. If you're a Taurus. 
Um, but I just feel like you're ready to ascend. You're ready to take your life to the next level. You're ready to take even this connection. At one point, you were ready to take this up to the next level. And, you know, it just... It, I think you were bored. I feel like you were getting bored with the fact that things weren't changing. And so there was like this kind of acceptance here. Here we go. We have the um, page of wands. Now there was something else that poked out. Yeah. And here's the five of cups. I feel like divine feminine, you were bored and getting tired of feeling um, a certain type of way, feeling sad, feeling let down, feeling like, you know, I feel like you, <sighs> I feel like it was just weighing too heavily on you for too long. And so you've gathered your strength. You have refocused your energy on the things that you can change in your world, on yourself, on your glow up, taking yourself and your goals very seriously here, ascending, connecting to spirit, staying in your own lane, and also like changing the way that you look at things, changing your um vibration here. I feel like there's a mindset that has shifted here for the divine feminine. Now, it doesn't mean that you're completely walked away because remember we have that person in the card looking backwards behind them still curious still wondering what's going on with the masculine energy okay i mean you're here if the if you're a divine feminine listening you're here you're still curious okay let's not get it twisted um <laughs> we don't we have to save space here we don't have to pretend okay so we have the page of one so we have happy news coming in for you we have a new hope restored optimism, joy, you know, just a good, I don't know, just something, it's like, it's like your mindset shifted here. I really need to go over to the masculine energy right now because I am feeling pulled to it. Oh my goodness. Angel of love. But here, the first energy out of the deck is the king of pentacles in the reverse. Now that's quite the opposite energy. I have to be real with you. I feel like the masculine is in, obviously they are in their feelings right now with the angel of love. Um, but it looks like they're not, they're going through something that is quite difficult, perhaps even financially, or they're losing money or they, why? I don't like, I, honestly, I gotta be real. I'm not really a big fan of the King of Pentacles in the reverse it does speak to somebody who can be quite materialistic stuck in their ego you know but it also can speak to somebody who is um at a loss who's losing who feels like they've lost now i gotta tell you what just showed up here okay as i was saying feels like they've lost we have uh the wheel okay the wheel of fortune the wheel of karma um, came out and then we also have the divine feminine energy okay so um the empress i feel like this masculine now they could be um an earth sign for some of you that could be why the king of pentacles came up at all um or they could have it very heavily in their chart or they are somebody who is uh, has been well established financially who has you know usually somebody who can be very loyal again they they're kind of in the dumps energy um, right now, like they're losing things. They're losing. I just heard losing sleep. Um, I feel like they're losing. Well, here's the thing. Divine feminine, you're in the energy of walking away, right? And you are coming up here as being like as clarifying what this masculine is losing. And they feel like they are losing their divine feminine. Okay. Now here's the thing. They could also be losing money. Uh, the wheel of fortune speaks to what goes around comes around, seeds that you've sown, it speaks to karma. Um, you know, when we go against the divine plan or the divine will, when we don't go with the flow, when we don't grow, when we don't, you know, um, learn our lessons, okay, um, we can start to lose things. This is the Wheel of Fortune turns either way, right? It's not just for the good. It can go on the downswing as well. So it's showing me right here that this masculine is currently on a losing streak, um, they do feel like they're losing their feminine. Um, they do feel like they could they could even be losing finances currently at this time. So what is going on? But we have them in the energy of love. We have them in the energy of love. We have them here thinking about you quite a bit here because you're showing up. The Empress is showing up. The Wheel of Fortune is showing up. I feel like they're really getting into their feelings 
um, currently, yeah, because look, we have the walking away energy here with the 10 of wands. It's weighing very heavily on them. You not being accessible, you not being in their world, you not paying them attention. I feel like they are trying to get your attention here. I don't know if you all picked it up, but I have the window open. And as I was ringing the sound bowl and calling in spirit, there was honking and I kept feeling like somebody's trying to get your attention. And then interestingly enough, my masculine started calling. So interesting. Um, okay. So, um, here we have the queen of swords. This is how they're seeing you right now. This is where, how you're showing up. You're showing up as somebody who is very guarded. Um, they are, it's interesting. It's like the more you pull away, the more you detach divine feminine, the more they get into their heart center, their heart space, the more they get into their feelings, the more they feel your absence and the hate absence absence <laughs> and the more um the more they feel the loss here of the feminine okay now um i don't know 100 percent your situation but i do feel with what we picked up on that frustration um here oh something flew out of the deck yeah here we go as i said frustration now i don't know when this flew out but it was kind of sitting face down over here um i didn't notice it and it is the seven of pentacles energy and as I was speaking of frustration, this is a very frustrated energy. This is a, uh, it's a vibe of like, look, I've done everything that I can do. I've put in all the time, work, energy, effort. I've done everything. Um, and I can't do any more here. Um, I'm not waiting around either. Okay. So this is kind of like this energy of, you know, um, <sighs> frustration waiting for something to take place and then kind of getting like bored with waiting okay so i feel like to mind feminine that's where you have you're at tell me about this shared energy with the woman holding a coin yeah look at this two very powerful heavy hitting energies major arcana judgment and um the fool so here we have an opportunity um i don't know if it's shared energy Exactly. Because let me explain what I mean. Um, with judgment in the fool, it's like there is an opportunity here coming through. And I feel like it is uh, divine feminine. It's your glow up because you've been putting your time, attention, energy, effort into your skills, into building something for yourself, into changing things for yourself here. Um, and the masculine, so the masculine is feeling the loss of your, your energy. Okay. Um, there is this potential here. I mean, like, I feel like you've had some type of awakening, wake up call. There's um, a call for a new beginning. Um, and what happens with judgment is when we make a decision, there is no going back on it. And so maybe it is a little shared energy because there, it looks like divine feminine, you're on this path where you're leveling up, right? We have the higher font for you as well. You're leveling up, you're glowing up. And the masculine is seeing that the masculine's watching you. In that sense, the masculine knows um, what's going on because they're they're really paying attention to you now, right? Because you're not paying attention to them. It's like this back and forth thing that happens energetically. When the more you detach, the more they're drawn in. Um, and it's like with judgment and the fool and the masculine, seeing that happen with you, seeing your glow up, they are scared and they're getting in their feelings that, um, you know, you've gone cold on them. You aren't communicating with them. They're feeling the loss. They're feeling very heavy. They're feeling like you have perhaps even started something new or completely moved on. Okay, completely moved on from them. And you're about to go into something where you're not looking back. Um, so there is, I guess that's how it could be um, a shared energy, right? And now there's indecision. I want to talk about the indecision. Because right now it looks like the masculine is really going through a time and, and really getting into their feelings about um, the divine feminine and the lack of the feminine energy in their world. Okay, they're very much missing your vibe. Okay, um, and you know, it just is what it is. Okay, I do feel a sense of calm and peace, even though, I mean, it's interesting. I don't feel like it's conflict. I do feel like there's been um, silence here um, for some time, you know. Um, and it's, you know, I was like, it's, it's interesting. Cause it's like, who's going to break the silence. I feel like I already kind of know that because of some, the thing that happened to me is I do feel like the masculine will be the one to try to break the silence. But I feel like honestly, divine feminine, whoever you are, um, I feel like you're resonating with the same kind of vibe of like, you know what, I'll, I'll maybe look at that later. Like, I'm not going to let 
the masculine energy um, no longer interfere with like, you know, I'm not going to drop what I'm doing. I'm not going to, I'm just going to keep on pushing. I'm going to keep on doing what I'm doing because, you know, it just hasn't. Yeah, you just, you've, you've reprioritized. Okay. And the masculine feels that. Okay. So they will be reaching out, but I need to know what this indecision is. We will get to envy as well in this reading. And then we will get to the caring connections five as well. Okay. So tell me about the indecision here. What is this indecision all about? Please. What is the indecision all about? Yeah. Should I come out from the cold? Do I come out from the cold? It's like this person is at, or oh, this person, the masculine perhaps is at, you know, it could be masculine and feminine shared energy. Okay. Because um the feminine you could be at a point where it's like you know do i do i start a cycle again do i go around this am i interested we all have free will here right so um the collective of feminine that i'm reading for right now is not really 100 percent sure with what they're going to do with this energy if they're um wanting to go around another cycle if they're wanting to get involved if they're wanting to have conversations i mean you just don't know um for those of you who whom this reading is for okay um if, if you're like yes 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 i want to talk to them i can't wait to talk to them then it's probably sadly isn't your your collective okay um and hopefully we'll get a reading for you next time we check in okay um but this is a little bit further down the line and please just understand that there are different stages there's different uh people here in our tribe that we pick up on different stages different areas you know on on their own journey not every journey is exactly the same okay um, <laughs> that's a, it's, you know, not every reading is going to be for you. Um, but here we have indecision, right? Okay. So the masculine as well, um, deciding if they want to use their divine will, what are they going to do? Are they going to pick up this key? This is the five of pentacles. Where's the key? The key is right here. They know that if they use their will, they could get themselves up and out of this sad state. Um, and walk over to the door and open it and communicate, okay? Um, they they are in this indecisive energy, whether or not they're going to do so, but I do feel like uh, they will eventually come to that decision here. Um, and, and it is up to you, Divine Feminine, whether or not you're going to uh, reciprocate, if you're going to answer the call, if you're going to go ahead and pick up the phone or whatever the case is here for you, if you're going to respond to their uh, messages, right? Because I do feel like in this particular collective, um, there is a feeling, and I got to tell you this, okay? Because remember, you're on the glow up energy, divine feminine. We have adjacent possibilities in the reverse. I feel in the past, when you have shifted your focus, when you've when you've been all about the journey, all about masculine, all about like uh, union and coming together and all those things in the past, because you've been there, let's be real, you've been there and all about the connection, you have let situations or opportunities um, kind of go by, you know, I'm not being accusatory, but you may have, you know, been so focused elsewhere that you weren't really um, focusing on the things that were right in front of you, or you may have been very distracted from your goals, you weren't really um, open to new possibilities, you know, you could have been very you know, hyper focused on just this connection and letting other things like your career or your uh, whatever it is that you're working on, right? Um, and so you've shifted your focus. And I don't know if you're interested. That's where the indecision is. It's not that you're, there's always going to be love for the masculine. <laughs> you know, there always is on these journeys. And it's more of like a calm, it's more truly unconditional love here. It's like, it's not that I don't love you. But I need to focus on what I'm focusing on. You're a distraction. Okay. Um, it's not that I don't want to be there for you, but I'm now prioritizing my own um, goals and dreams and things that I'm working on. Okay. So there's that kind of a feeling like there's still, you know, it's it's truly unconditional love. <laughs> I don't know how else to explain it. It's like unconditional love does not mean that you have to spend your life with the person, um, you know, or that you have to run off into the sunset. It's actually quite opposite. It's an acceptance of, you know, they are who they are. They, they've learned what they've learned and same goes for you. And it is what it is kind of a vibe, right? No matter what happens, you still have love. They are your twin, right? Okay. It's just whether or not you are going to engage and, and how much attention you're willing to give. Uh, because I feel like Divine Feminine, you're on a roll right now in your own life, in your career, in your goals, on a glow up. 
right? And you're at peace <laughs> and you're at peace. And I feel like it may have taken quite some time to get to this space for you. And so now it's like, don't disturb my peace kind of a vibe. And we've been picking up that a lot in the collective, in our tribe as well. Okay, so um, <laughs> I wanna explore envy. I really wanna explore envy. I wanna know why it's here. I wanna know who it's relating to. Um, who is envious of who and why is it present right now? Okay, so what's envy? What is this envy? What's going on with envy here, please, spirit? Envy, eight of cups, walking away, more walking away energy, okay. Envy. I feel like the masculine, it's like they're almost flabbergasted right now. I'm getting that word in. It's like, it's unbelievable. They can't believe that you have so, they feel like so effortlessly, okay? I mean, it's a bit naive on their part in a sense, or at least ignorant on their part in the truest sense of the word ignorant, like they don't know. Um, <laughs> They, they believe, they're envious. How can you just let this go? How can you just walk away? How come it's not bothering you? How come you don't care anymore? How can you can just, you know, walk away uh, and abandon me like that? Like, I feel like this masculine is quite triggered because they are feeling abandoned. They are feeling alone. They are feeling, they are missing your energy right now. And I feel like, interestingly enough, this is a space and this is where they don't understand. This is a space where you have been um, when you felt that they were able, how could you just turn your back on this connection? How could you just walk away? How could you just do, 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 do? maybe at one point they were focused on their goals and their dreams and their passions. And, and you took that, like, you know, maybe they thought you were a distraction, you know, maybe they had something else going on as well. And, you know, I mean, like, because the nature of these connections, these soul contracts, these twin flame journeys and stuff like that, it does go back and forth, right? It can go back and forth, the same kind of energy. It's like we learn the same lessons at different times, at different, you know, in different ways. And so now they're in the space right now where, like where you once were, how could they just walk away? How could they not care anymore? How could they leave me here? You know, because now they're in their energy. They are in their, their heart chakra there. It's, it's open, right? So now they're feeling the love. Now they're wanting connection with the feminine and the feminine is nowhere to be found, you know? Okay. So envy, how could you just do that? I wish I could just forget, you know, if they feel like you forgot about them and um, yeah, so they're watching you, they're watching you walk away. They're paying attention to what it is you're doing. Um, they're trying to figure out what's going on with you. Have you started something new? Have you just forgotten about me? You know, there's a paranoia happening here. A little bit um six of cups and the king of wands i feel like you know this is riling up their passions i feel like they are now determined to like uh, go back to the way things were or to go back to get you back um to get your attention again here uh, to get to your attention um it's like they're really trying really hard and i feel like they're doing it in kind of like a subliminal type of way like um, or, I mean, they could be flat out trying to call you and then you don't pick up like I just did. <laughs> Whoops. Um, yeah, I mean, but it's like they are determined to get your attention in some way because they want it to go back to the way it was. But so much has happened. You've changed so much. You've grown. Things have happened, right? Things have gone down. And now I feel like feminine, your priority has shifted. Okay, so this is a, okay, your priority shifted. So tell me more about envy. Is there something you're doing that they're envious of? Or is it just like their paranoia? Maybe you are with someone else. It, here's that Queen of Pentacles energy, which is interesting because this is the vibe I get from woman holding a coin. It's, it's practically the same, right? It's practically the same energy. You can see it right there. So I get that like they could be envious of your glow up, of the attention you're receiving. And this is like super triggering to them. Maybe um, things are going really well for you at work or you're, you know, you're just feeling very confident. You're taking care of yourself. You're taking care of everything that's practical. Things are going well for you. It's a good, peaceful vibration, right? And it's an, an energy of abundance. So you could be going through, again, the glow up or the abundance era. Um, and here's the lovers at the bottom of the deck, which is interesting because I was just about to go to the caring connections, right? Why is this here? 
And I feel like why it's here is because now I feel like the, their heart is opening, right? Their heart chakra is opening. And there's the two of cups hiding right underneath the lovers. So it's like they're really feeling this connection. They are really feeling this connection here. Um, they're really in their heart space. They're really wanting to reach out to you. They really want to know what's going on with you. Where did you go? Um, have you walked away for good? How could you do that? Look at you growing up. There's a little bit of envy energy because they are in, you know, here you are queen of pentacles, right? Their divine counterpart. And there they were king of pentacles, but showing up in the reverse. So they're losing out right now. And you're on the winning end, which makes sense for, you know, what's happened in the past, what goes around, comes around. I feel like right now they're experiencing um, that feeling of, um, abandonment and pain and separation currently they're feeling the pain of separation um right now very intensely and and they are interested in coming back together they don't know what you would choose they don't know what's going on with you this could be the whole reason why they're they're reaching out to find out where where you stand are you still interested do you still love me can things go back the way that they were you know um it, it's they know the depth of the connection and i feel like because they're in their, their feelings right now, they're really wanting to explore the love between the two of you. Um, and it seems like the more you detach, the more they want to um, come towards you. Okay, this is just what I'm seeing here. Um, so I guess I am kind of running at my 30 minutes. <laughs> YouTube rating 30 minutes long usually um, here. And I feel like I'm going to take it to the extended. We'll go and find out exactly like, what, what energy the masculine is in towards you, Divine Feminine, what they're really thinking right now, what they're feeling, you know, has what's changed within them, okay, because I do see a shift here, um, and, and the energy has shifted, it has definitely shifted, I feel like they are in an energy of feeling what you once felt, and it's almost like the roles have been reversed, the tables, the tides have turned, if you will, the tides have turned in this connection, um, and now it seems like, you know, it's up to you and they will be reaching out. So we're going to explore what it is that they'll have to say to you. Um, and yeah, just so you can be prepared for when this conversation comes through, when they come through and communicate with you, we'll look at the potential. Um, you know, I'm also going to ask here, like, what I, what I feel like is very important for you, Divine Feminine, if you're resonating with this energy reading is... If you were allow, if you were to engage in the conversation, if you were to open this back up again with the divine masculine, um, will it just end up being a distraction again? You know, like, will it just end up being a distraction? Um, is it going to knock you off track? Because I feel like that's actually very important to you right now um, with the work that you're doing. So I'm going to explore that as well. And then we'll see what else comes up in the uh, reading there. Okay, so we'll just dive a little bit deeper. All right, let me just get, um, I have this like twin flame oracle thing, just in case these energies come up. Um, so we're gonna get an oracle. All right, three came out. We have past lives, past lives energy, which isn't surprising because it does see like, it does feel like this masculine is awakened to the connection, the depth of the connection. We have, you know, that whole string of energies right here, the lovers, the two of cups and the, um, caring connection. So we have past lives. It says we reunite with our loved ones over and over again through many different lives and many times in this life. I would also say here we <laughs> signs, <laughs> signs. Okay, spirit, loud and clear. Watch out for signs leading you to true love. Okay, I think that's funny. <laughs> um, but yeah, watching for signs. Watch out for signs in your world. Um, receptive. Be ready to receive what fate has planned for you. Be ready to receive what fate's planned for you. And obstacles. Look for ways around obstacles to find happiness, okay? Try and work it out. Be open and receptive to working it out. Thank you, spirit. Yeah, I know. A um, <laughs> little bit of jaded energy over here, but that's okay. Again, um, yeah, it is what it is. Uh, we have labyrinth. When you, when you feel... Even when you feel lost, there's always a way through the labyrinth, okay? There's always a way through the obstacles, okay? And then um, we have here underneath, it just says soul. Your soul is preparing to reconnect, trust the process. And then underneath that trust, you need to have trust in the relationship in order for it to flourish, okay? 
So we will see. I mean, only you really know if you can trust them, right? But we will explore if there has been any changes, okay, in the extended. The link is in the description box below if you're interested. Again, anyone who does join me there will automatically be entered into uh, the May draw for a free reading with me and that will be um chosen i guess at the, at the beginning of june um but yeah thank you very much for your love support if you like my vibe <laughs> if you want to see more twin flame readings i'm always open let me know in the comments okay because i do try to limit it um to maybe once a week or even you know sometimes less um but yeah let me know what you're into okay um yeah um but yeah so what else yeah if you like my energy you know, you're totally free to join our tribe. We would love to have you. We have a tribe full of amazing humans from all over the world, and you are more than welcome to to join us. Join us. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, join your goofy reader. <laughs> okay, I will speak to you again, and I'll see you in the extended. Take care. Mm -hmm.